Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What oh, about that's you? Good. I'm very well. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Ahmed. Ahmed? Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Kali. Hey. It's nice and to meet you, Kali. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Iraq. You're from Iraq. Okay, cool. Well, I'm yeah. from Australia, but right now I live in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you stuck there in Vietnam? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was already living here for two years, but I want to go home. My sister is having a baby. I want to go and see the baby, but okay. I don't know. I don't know if I can go. So let's see what happens. <laughs> and um, what about in, what's the situation in Iraq? Like, are you guys allowed to go out or is everything locked down? Yeah, uh, the situation here uh, is not good. Everything is not good here. Um, feels like uh, the coronavirus developed here in my country, and uh, uh, the numbers uh, are increases. Uh, increasing. Increasing uh, every yeah. day. Oh uh, no! Uh, yeah. It's and really. Uh, everybody, everybody here uh, weird. Uh, uh, worry, uh, worry about uh, this situation. So everybody is worried. Everybody it here is, is worried. Worried, yeah, about this situation. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. So here in Vietnam, like we don't have coronavirus is basically gone. So mm -hmm. we have no. We everything is normal. We can go out. School is open. I mean, even like bars and nightclubs, everything is open. However, the border is shut because obviously, if we start letting other countries come in. We're gonna. It's gonna start again, you know. Yeah, <clears throat> of course. So I don't know. It's a difficult situation here because tourism is very important to Vietnam, and you know, there's no absolutely no tourists in the country at all right now. So that's a problem as well. Uh, they're in Vietnam, so uh, yeah. maybe maybe the the resources only uh, depends on uh, the to uh, the tourism in Are Vietnam. There's other, there are other industries, but tourism is very important. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of clothes are made in Vietnam. So I'm sure if you look at the label on some of your clothes, it will say made in Vietnam. So clothes and tourism are two important things here. So if, I, if I've been there in uh, Vietnam, what should I be the first uh, place uh, to go? <gasps> well, I, I live in Ho Chi Minh City. I think it's a very cool city. The food yeah. here is so good and so cheap. So you can go to local mm -hmm. markets and just try all this really nice Vietnamese food. That's one of my favorite things. Or you can go on a food tour. People would take you on a motorbike around the city. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's always nice. So what's the, the currency there in Vietnam? It's the name of the currency? Dong. D-O-N-G. Dong. D-O-N-G. Uh -huh. Yeah. Vietnamese Dong. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, so like, one, you... like something like 16,000 or something is like one US dollar. So are you uh, rent an uh, apartment or uh, you live in a hotel? I, I kind of, it's kind of in between. You, you, say, you say, are you, do you, do you rent an apartment? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. So I live in like, it's kind of like a hotel, but the people that live here, live here for a long time. So it's not just people coming, going, coming, going. So I have my own room and my own bathroom. And then I sh the yeah. outside is the swimming pool. And we share like a kitchen with other people. But there's only like 20 people here. It's kind of a small building. It's very nice. Nice garden, nice swimming pool. Mm -hmm. What about you? Do you live in like a house or apartment or you have family? Yeah, I have family and uh, I live with my own family in uh, my own uh, house. Yeah, yeah. I think I could, yeah. can I hear some kids maybe in the background? Oh, there's some kids here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, so nice. these, uh, are my kids, yeah. How, how old so, are your kids? Uh, I have three kids. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, the first one is a girl. She's uh, 10. Yeah. And the middle is uh, five. Yeah. And the youngest one is uh, uh, two and a half years Oh, just a baby. Oh, so cute. It's a baby. Oh, yeah. how fun. Oh, my gosh. That's great. And um, what do you do? Do you work or what do you do? Uh, yeah, I have uh, a computer shop. Oh, cool. Uh, I own my uh, shop. 
Yeah. Uh, so uh, I uh, I work on my own schedule. Okay. That's yeah. why that's what I love with my work. Perfect. So I mean, are you is your shop open at the moment because of coronavirus or what's happening? No, I can't open my shop because uh, yeah. you know about the, the bad situation here, and we can't communicate. We can um, uh, meet uh, people <clears throat> because you know about uh, the pandemic. Yeah, so that's just. Yeah. So, do you live in like a city or a town? What's it like where you live? Uh, I live in uh, the capital in Baghdad. Okay, so you live in Baghdad, but so all of Baghdad is just shut down. Like no one can restaurants, everything's closed. Yeah, uh, just uh, the local uh, government yesterday, uh, they closed all the roads, all the main roads. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, the government declared. Uh, uh, Something like, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, cold red. Cold red. I guess it's like a state of emergency. Yeah. Emergency. The government declared a state of emergency. Oh, that's pretty bad. So the numbers just keep going up and up and up, do they? Yeah, if you look uh, to uh, if you, uh, my, my, number, uh, my neighborhood and other neighborhood, yeah. you find uh, uh, at least... Uh, maybe two or three uh, confirmed cases in these neighborhoods and some of the some of them uh, uh, are higher maybe uh, maybe 15 55 yeah and other and other neighborhoods it's just such a strange the dangerous part about like coronavirus is that so many people can have the virus and they don't feel sick so they think they're okay they go they see their family but they're spreading the virus without knowing. And that's like a really scary situation because it's very hard to control if maybe you don't even know you're sick, you know. That's crazy. Yeah, especially when we don't have uh, the Ministry of Health, uh, they don't have uh, the, the resources to uh, test uh, the people. Uh, yeah. I think uh, it's a machine or something. So uh, uh, we, I heard, I'm not sure, but uh, we heard like, uh, I heard like uh, uh, we have three uh, test machines for coronavirus. So uh, for the whole uh, country? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, you uh, can't. In the, yeah, in the capital and in the north of Iraq and in the south of Iraq. Just, just this. Three, that's so, great. Uh, yeah. yeah. So all, uh, many people uh, don't know about... Uh, uh, they uh, they they get the virus or not? They don't know if they uh, have they it. Yeah, they, yeah. They suddenly uh, uh, it seems uh, for uh, them uh, the symptoms and they suddenly uh, die. Yeah, it's it's just it's very strange because some people don't get sick, some people get very very sick, and some people die. But some people just don't get sick at all. It's a really weird virus. It's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm uh, and uh, if you noticed, uh, the disease is uh, a little bit different. Uh, the differs from country to another. It does seem to, and some countries have. It's so strange. Like a country like Vietnam, for example. Yeah. So many people in a close area. You know, in this city, yeah. 16, 16 million people live in Ho Chi Minh City. We have no cases. Yeah. None. We, we, we are next yeah. to China and somewhere like, you know, like Ecuador, maybe Iraq, Brazil, America, so many yeah. cases. It's just different in every country. It's very strange. Maybe, maybe, maybe according to, to the weather, to the, the nature of people. Yeah. Um, it uh, it changed from a uh, country to another. Well, here, I'm sure. here the government was very, very strict. In the beginning, they were very strict. So, for example, if you, like, went to a, like, there was a bar, one guy, a pilot went to the bar, he had coronavirus. Every single yeah. person who was in that bar that night had to go to quarantine, not, not quarantine at home, they had to go to qu the quarantine centre for two weeks. And they were checking, mm. they were coming to people's houses, the police would come to your house and just be like, get a bag, go, now. And people just got pulled out of their house and stuck in quarantine camp for weeks. So they were very strange. yeah. This uh, this this happened. This uh, happened actually yesterday for uh, uh, 
uh, my neighborhood. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, in my neighborhood, uh, the cases uh, very they have very huge number of uh, uh, disease. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah. So uh, they uh, knocking on the on the doors of uh, the people. Yeah. And. Uh, Pick up all the whole family, not just yeah, the, uh, uh, yeah the, the one pay, one pay, one patient. Not just the, the whole family. Yeah, because uh, the because they are touching uh, with the, with this person. And so, does everyone yeah. have to go to like a quarantine? Like here in Vietnam, they used I think like old schools and old military bases and put like beds in them, and then everyone had to go and stay there. Is this a similar thing in Iraq? Like, where does everyone go when the police come to get them? Uh, can you repeat it again? Yeah, so you said, like, just like here in Vietnam, the police come to your house and if they think you have coronavirus, they'll take you and your family. But where do people go? Like, to a hotel or to... Where do they take the people? They take them um, to, to the hospitals to the, um, for, uh, for the medication because... Uh, some people are refused this, oh. and uh, yeah, they they uh, they tell the 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 people we don't have uh, a disease, but actually they oh. they have they have it. Because what happened here was like even even if you don't know if you have the disease, for example, if you're at the bar, this guy's at the bar. Everybody who was at the bar, whether or not they have the disease, the police came to their house, took them. And they had to stay at like a not at a hospital, like a, a quarantine, called a quarantine camp, a, qu a quarantine yeah, center. Yeah, They're just qu beds, and that's it. Uh, and then they got tested. They had to get tested three times. I think once they got clear, clear, clear three times, they could go home. But it was I know a girl, a girl that yeah, I I, just like for uh, for maybe 40, uh, 14, 14 days. Fourteen days, yeah, uh, and yeah, some of them, some of them die, some of them recover yeah. and go back. Well, uh, to their homes that got taken by the police like they didn't have coronavirus at all they were just in the same place as another person with coronavirus but they didn't have the virus but still everybody has to go and get checked so it's pretty crazy but now it seemed to work because now we don't have any more coronavirus in the country i think we think we hope we hope we, hope. <laughs> yeah. we, hope. Yeah. we, we, we hope all this all this uh, kind of disease uh it's gone. But I think it will be like a long time before like the world totally goes back to normal. Like how can like until like people can travel, people can whatever. Do you know what I mean? Until we get like a vaccine. Uh, you mean, you mean uh, in this period of time uh, we can uh, travel? Well, that's a, I, I think it will be a long time before life all over the world goes back to normal. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe, yes, maybe uh, it took us a long time to uh, recover all the countries. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, hard uh, for uh, this time uh, to, to travel and uh, to uh, meet uh, other people. Because uh, if you notice, uh, when I, <clears throat> when I uh, went out yesterday, uh, today in the morning, mm -hmm. Where I went, I, I went out to uh, to the market. Yeah. Uh, everybody acting uh, weird, weird acting. Acting weird. How uh, do you mean? What yeah. do you mean? Yeah, uh, just not uh, not uh, on their usual or normal people. Uh, like uh, they are, they are afraid, scared. Yeah. Uh, They're scared. When, when yeah. they they are scared. Yeah. When I uh, when I come to uh, speak to the to someone or I ask someone, he, he uh, turn his face uh, like, uh, aside. Yeah, yeah. It's a definitely like. Yeah. Well, I mean, here in Vietnam, everyone was wearing face masks for a long, like in the beginning, and it was you had to wear a face mask if you went to the supermarket or something. So I don't know, maybe that helped. But I remember I was driving, and my a few weeks ago, you know my motorbike stopped yeah. working. I was like, oh, my motorbike won't start. So I asked someone, excuse me, excuse me, um, do you know where I can take yeah. my motorbike to get fixed? And, you know, like he, he's yeah. just being nice, but he touched my arm and was like, here, here, here. I was like, oh, don't touch my arm. <laughs> 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 like he, was, he was just yeah, trying to help me. That's the same. 
happened to me, it happened to yeah. me yeah. just like this. It was just trying to be helpful, yeah. but I was like, oh, coronavirus. <laughs> Yeah, people are scared. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So much. It's just unbelievable. So how is everything going with the economy in Iraq? Like, is this causing problems with people, like, are losing jobs and things like that? Yeah, just like uh, to other countries, um, there are many people lost their jobs and uh, they can't make they a can't, living. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, uh, I heard... Many people have lost their jobs. Many people have l lost their yeah. job. Yeah. So uh, I think, in my opinion, uh, the government uh, must uh, give them uh, uh, money yeah. uh, to survive in, in this life. Uh, like uh, the other countries, uh, they give uh, their people uh, I think I think uh, a money uh, money for for living yeah. at, at least in two in, in this two months. It's it's very difficult. Like here in Vietnam, the government was giving people some money, but a very small amount. But Vietnam is very it's not very expensive here, and in Australia, where I'm from, yeah. same. But even the government in Australia said, we don't have money forever. Like if this is going to be a problem for years. We can't just keep giving yeah. people money. So I don't know what's going to, I don't know what is going to happen. I mean, especially places like Brazil, United States, where there's just so many cases. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, as you, uh, like you said, uh, the situation is insane. We've never seen anything like this. So what have you been doing to stay busy while you're um, in, in lockdown? Um. Uh, I just uh, keep my mind yeah. busy uh, learn English, uh, develop my skills in English. Uh, I've, I benefit uh, from this quality. Good. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, here on Campley, I uh, spend uh, a good time uh, with my teachers uh, speaking about, uh, the, about this situation, yeah. our, uh, to our uh, different yeah, topics. Yeah, for sure. That make me that make me uh, interesting uh, and uh, stuff yeah, like that. That's you good. Know, when you make a conversation, yeah, it's just nice to talk to people. I mean, talk to people from all around the world. It's like that. Not that makes yeah. me interesting. That I'm interested in. If you're talking about how you feel, it's always like ED. Yeah. Like I'm bored. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like if yeah, you're talking yeah, about yeah, that, yeah, like yeah, that you. topic is interesting interesting but if you're talking about yourself i'm interested in the interesting topic yeah but you seem to already know quite yeah. a lot of english have you been studying for a long time uh, i have been uh, studying english uh, like uh, almost a year one year Your english is very yeah. good did you speak any english before that yeah but i um I was listening to uh, American music, oh, yeah. so I'm always I'm always repeat uh, after nice. the singers. So uh, I I I think I got the accent from uh, uh, from uh, the music yeah. uh, and uh, some some vocabulary. But you know uh, the, the the songs is not uh, is is not like uh, of the course conversation. yeah yeah and because it's a song and odd yeah. And, uh, like so going poetry, like they might not always use yeah. totally correct grammar because it's it's music, it's poetry. They might sort of change some things around, things like this. Yeah, the rhythm is uh, is changing yeah. from uh, from uh, the song to uh, yeah, it's definitely very oh, it's very different. So wh why what's uh, what's your yeah. reason for wanting to improve your English? I have many reasons for learning English, but the main reason uh, I want to be mm -hmm. educated, and uh, and uh, if you, and it's kind of sty stylish when you, you know when you uh, learn uh, in, in know uh, two or three English. Two or three English? Do you mean two or three languages? Yeah. Uh, yeah, two or three yeah. languages. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's very it's very sure. interesting. Uh, when you know when when you know uh, three languages and uh, 
use them and to communicate with yeah, other people. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, I think I think it's uh, it's kind of hob- a hobby. Yeah, but for awesome. Me. Yeah, I like learning languages too. I'm trying to learn Vietnamese. That's very difficult. <laughs> And um, also, I speak some Spanish, so I'm sort of practicing that as well. But do you speak, what do you, is Iraq, yeah. you speak Arabic in Iraq, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the main, the, the main language here uh, and do, is do Arabic. Do you speak any other languages or Arabic and English, any other languages? Actually, I had, uh, I had a French classes. Uh, okay, yeah. How is as as a second as a second book, French? but uh, um, <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> yeah, because um because I'm not practicing yeah. anymore. Uh, That's yeah. the main thing. I think the main thing with learning a language is really consistency, like practicing. Otherwise, if you do it here, then you don't practice for a long time. You forget everything you learn, and you have to start again, start again. You know. Yeah, I remember my teacher. Uh, say to me uh, learning uh, learning the language uh, you should uh, le- you should practice uh, every day like every day because uh, because uh, the language is it's like yeah. a muscle uh, when when you work work out it's uh, going good but uh, when you uh, stop work workout uh, it's not uh, going yeah we uh, have a, we actually good. have a saying in english Use it or lose yeah. it, which is kind of what you're saying. Use it or lose it. Use it like, or lose it. Like y- y- use it and that, or that's a, Yeah, use so it's like it do this, it. practice. It kind of means like practice or do something or lose it. You won't be able to do it anymore. Use it or lose it. It's like a little saying we have. So that's a good, yeah, yeah with languages, yeah. it's really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good one. Moment. So uh, I think uh, no that's enough for today. I hope to see, I hope uh, yeah, to see very you nice soon. Talking to you. Thank you no for worries. correcting me. See you okay. later. Bye bye. Yeah. Goodbye.